though, well, we've seen this quite a bit in recent times via Spargo and Tweak. Which, Diddy Kong, you know, they make it pretty tough for kind of Cloud to get in there. But once they open up strong, they open up strong. Look at that, 47%. The advantage state already goes crazy with this character. Trying to get the trapping on the platform already. Kind of put Infernip in disadvantage, but... Oh, no. Up out of shield gonna completely shut down Infernape's attempts to kind of come on in. And Diddy Kong, while being like such a defensive and like oppressive kind of character, you really you really have like two ways to kind of end, and B Banana basically dictates that and Monkey Flip in tandem. But when your opponent, when you don't mix between the two properly and your opponent kind of catches on to that rhythm, I mean, look at that space. RTS is given Infernape like the whole damn stage, be like, bro. You can monkey flip in my spot. I see you. I know what you're trying to do. I know the game plan. You can just hold this back here. Yep. Good match there from Fernand. Trying to just still find some percentage on RTS still. And RTS throwing out so many of these preemptive backers to try and shut down any monkey flips or Fernand kind of invading that space. Limit is online right now, so it might be a potential spot stock, but no. Nope. Infernape able to hold still, but no. Nope. Dash attack gonna steal at that first stock. Curse him just a little, just a little bit. Just a little, little bit. Let's see if Infernape can retaliate quite a bit here. You're only one banana conversion away from death, but having limit, that's the get off me option. The universal get off me option with the blade beam. Alright. Preemptive up B going to be getting you down the stock. But they're finally going to take it. And Fernie just needs a few little conversions just like that. Back air wasn't able to get to, to get the second one. Bates the, this up B and ooh, ooh, try to put on the damage with the barrels as well. I'm liking it. But I know RTSB having none of that. And I be, I'm being joined by one of the goats themselves. You're not on just yet. <laughs> M Maddie be joining us in a real second. But all right. All right, I'm on now. Damn, bro. I got one more for you. How did you, did you fold my goat influence? So I, so here's my thing versus influence, <laughs> right? So one, I'm not familiar with that matchup also altogether because like I don't play that many Robins. I don't play that many on my yeah, fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every got Robin folded. that I play is he like, got good, uh, listen, listen, it was game three. Oh, right? you got folded? It was Let's game go. three. No. Let's go. Listen, how crazy the slander versus me right now. That's crazy. What? That's my I, region. That's I, my card. I, 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 I understandable. But here's the thing, right? So game one, right? I had the wrong controls game one. Oh. So like my my R my L button, I usually had that set to jump. So and I'm like I'm like hardwired to do like C stick L. So like when I when I when I get, when I have a jump read, and I got so many of those, and I was like, why am I grabbing? What's going on here? Nah, that's and tough. That's great. That's tough. That's tough. But um, and then I'm like, all right, I need a smaller stage because I don't want to give Robin uh, places to set up, right? So I took her to Smashville. Is it oh. he or her? Him. Him. Okay, cool. Yes. Um, so I took him to Smashville. And with my proper controls, and I'm not gonna lie to you, no, no funny shit. I was fucking him up. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, all right, cats there, cost you mash it here, F smash that at 80. Okay, cool. Next. And then he, we ran it back there, and it was a very like back and forth game until he hit me with some setup I've never seen before in my life. And that's like my second song. What was the setup? It was like Elwin, and then I was drifting back to stage, and he caught me with a backer. And it yeah, didn't register until that's too late. The setup. I'm just like, I'm just like, wait, I can't, wait, wait a second, back here clips me here, oh, fuck. I was like, alright, whatever, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, right? So I was trying to regain my footing in neutral, and kind of like in front of it now. And then I ended up sd because I tried to tether to the stage, and instead it threw the bomb. So I'm just like, well, uh, no, that's, that's tough. I can't be mad about that, because that's my own fault. That I couldn't, like, that was a situation Ooh. where I definitely could have just up but it's whatever. I, I need to understand that it's like, I can. I need to Edgard Robin more because I was not doing that. Setup. I was just trying to do like cheeky, like bomb two yeah, frame no. stuff. But I mean, I really I can see need it. to just like go off stage. But one time I did it fair. He didn't expect it. He died. I'm just like, wow. That's that's my problem against that character too. Like I'd be letting that character get back for free because like, I'm like, like, I don't want to deal with the Elwin bullshit of like getting spiked or something like but that. But it's like you're not going to unless you're at his fucking hand. Yes. Or like him just like swinging like Levin's sword at me. But and, like, he's not trying to going go. to. If, if, if I see the Elwin, I should be off stage. Jump back there. That's it's, it's just so easy. Exactly. It's just Freak. so easy, and I wasn't doing that. And I'm just like, wow. I I could have I could have won that. But you know what? I digress. We learn for the next time. We are learning. We just like Infernape's in gonna have to learn here for this game too. In fucking deep. Because yeah. this is RTS. I saw that he was here last week. 
And so I'm wondering what what brings this man over from because he's from oh. RTS is from uh, New England. Oh, it's from yeah, New England, Massachusetts, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, eleventh on PR too. Eleventh under PR. Oh, I thought he was fifteen. No, I got my 11th. facts wrong. God damn. Uh, I had this. I had it from the stats man, Mero himself. Um, this man is eleventh under PR. From what I've heard, also from, my, from the boys here, uh, that I talked to them about it after, uh, this man loves that upbeat out of shield. Yeah, Drew Logo was like watching, he was like, yeah, he's pretty tight. Meanwhile, gets forfeit encore, beating all the regulars and everything third. like that. Third. Uh, that, got that's what it was. Third. third. That's what it was. I so was it was Krin and Noku who No, it was Krin and Noku who he beat. And Noku was like a last stock, last hit situation, too. Shoot. But uh, he uh, he SD'd off stage because Noku just saw he was panicking and he was like, all right, cool. Uh, let's just oh. kill him for this one. Yeah, right no. Now, right now, uh, Infernape is in his element right now, get, getting all the Diddy confirms. I'm in my and zone. Just, I'm in my element. I'm in my zone. I'm in my element. Ooh. All of the spiders and all of them venom came hey. in right <laughs> <and it's intelligent. laughs> You already uh, know. I'm happy, you, I'm happy you know that song. Thank I, you, when I'm you. playing that in the gym, I just, I, 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 I have to set. I don't miss. I don't miss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I would like the run, the run back at Influence, though, but I got to grind my way to get that. And like Infernape is definitely trying to get his run back here now. Oh, uh, Banana Snipe, though, taking his out. But the barrel's still going through. Nah, yeah. When you get sniped out from your jetpack like that, it takes a while for you to come back. So that's a real tough for Diddy of Kong base. Not many people know that, but it seems like RTS is using that to their knowledge to perfectly, honestly. State PR for a reason, man. He knows everything in his skill shows, too. That was an ID game there. Hold on a second. Hey. Bro was kind of different. Because now that I'm watching him, it's like he is like... His neutral is great. His pressure is fantastic. The only really like flaw that I'm seeing here that can probably like, because I'm looking at him, I'm just like, you know, with the cloud that plays like this, it's kind of hard to really get punished for doing anything. Then I see all these upbeats out of shield that he does, and I'm just like, oh, there it is. Yeah. What I'm really impressed by is that flow chart. That flow oh, chart of yes. his is so nice. When he gets into advantage state, that's what clouds need to have. I was talking about Tweak and Spargo before. It's like defense versus offense. And when Cloud gets, ooh, ooh nice cat. Did, did, he, uh, did he lack in the strength? Man, he's not getting that kill. Yeah, but when Tweak, when Sparrow catches Tweak slacking, it like Sparrow goes to town on this little monkey. Bro. Oh my god, it, it's insane because like Spark, because it's not even like Sparkle's doing anything too fancy. It's just well placed back airs. And that's just all the conditioning he needs. I'm conditioning you to shield, then I grab you, throw you into disadvantage, and then I get the punish from here. I'm surprised he didn't dash attack. Yeah, and now the main downside. Oh, caught him slipping with the spot dodge. Now the the main thing here is that Infernape gets keep gets is getting caught slacking with like the monkey flips with the bananas as well. RTS is like, hey yo, bud, come into my space, bro. Come God. into my space. Hold this back here. I got a nice cross slash for you, bro. And Infernape's like, all right, I gotta get out of here, bro. I got the 137. <laughs> I need out, bro. Look at him. He's at swinging him. on he him. Swinging. He's like, I want you know. I know you want to press the button, bro. Press a button, and Frenip is not giving it to him. See? Well, right there, Jesus Christ. That, that was a crazy call out. You see this? Because it's RTS knows what Infernape wants. It's, RTS has basically been inviting Infernape this entire time. And Infernape's kind of taking them up on the challenge, but I get it. You know, you have that 152. You had all that percentage to play around, build some extra credit for the next one. But now this is where you got to go in. Yeah, man. 76%. This is like prime raid. And very good like, very good notice to drift away from that upbeat. Because, woof. Lord knows, Infernape oh. can have a fat punish right here. Missing that to confirm off of the nair. But he still picks it right back up. Archie's having to recover. Choosing to roll on the stage this time. That's very risky. Yeah, not slipping on any banana peels whatsoever. And now look at all these feedbacks from RTS. Looking for Infernape to press a button to continue that state. He's like, I'm trying to get this reversal so bad out here. I mean, that minus three oh is definitely going to do it. But right back into it. Almost getting that up smash. You so. see, I knew like we wouldn't like see a, a, a hop onto the platform F smash. Because I know Infernape. My man loves to throw out these up smashes. Up smash is like... That is his baby. If like he, if you had to make any move on your character to be like your favorite oh, no. for a friend, it's easily up smash. Like he throws that move out so quick, so much. Yeah, it's a hitbox that like scoops you, and if you're not prepared for it, it's like, well, goddamn. Mm -hmm. See, you just see like it right that. Right there, cleaning up his mess right there. Taking that game with, the, taking that game, moving on to game number three. You gotta put down the invaders. I'm sorry, RTS. You gotta put them down. Yeah, oh my god, I would have to fight Noku if I won. Oh my god, that. I wouldn't say that's free, but it's like, listen, I the last time I played Noku, I beat him, and I, 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 I I'm <laughs> confident. I remember bro. that shit. That was that was a good night. That was a good night. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that's my fucking goat. Let's uh, go. It was a winner too. Ooh. And I just found that I, I, I just made Noku hate Toon Link, so that's all. Yeah. But now we have to fight another. Zeta. I already know Noku like hate. He hates playing his like round ones or like. 
people he plays in bracket like multiple times, like the John Mark. Oh He's like, God. oh man, these people are getting the download on me, bro. Oh, they are, man. We're getting. That's good. what happens when you're one of the top players in the region, baby. People like they look at you, they want to download you, and they want to beat you. They watch your vods, they study. They're like, I'm tired. Of, like, eventually, it comes to the point where you just say, I'm tired of losing. I know, Inferno is tired of losing. Get some big damage right there, 41%. He got these cool Diddy Kong streams, and the damage is still stacking up. <laughs> and Freddy keeping it all going, and Ooh. catching RTS slip and pressing the buttons. But you know, Cloud's buttons are pretty big themselves. Yeah, Limit I mean that Limit Blade Beam. I mean, it's, it basically scream, get off me, brother. Indeed. I'm trying to get that damage on. The nice payback fair. And Freddy's still trying to get in that space, but it's still RTS playing the show here. You know, one thing I love about RTS right now is, the, is Bro's movement, right? Mm -hmm. His he is slingshot everywhere. His use of slingshot for the spacing and just like hopping in your face unexpectedly with a back air. Oh my god. It's so clean. He does it so often. I wish Kryn did this. Kryn's cloud would be so good. Kryn's cloud is already good. <laughs> it would be unstoppable. No, it absolutely would. That back air almost taking front of out of the show. Oh my god, trying to OS that entire oh. situation. Did you see what? that? No, that option select was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, so you, so you expect this here to jump? No? Okay, cool. Basically, jump, banana, blade beam, dash attack. Just, it was, the answers were all covered. And Furnape's trying to swing for that high ceiling. It's not doing him any favors. The crazy thing is that, right, he, the options were all covered, and Furnape still, like, blocked all of it. He recognized it's like, this is only, this is only an OS. I'd die here if I jump. But he just chose to hold shield, which is very smart for him. Mm -hmm. And shield damage was enough that so Jesus where Infernape would just not take a lot of damage, but oh Infernape. One thing about RTS that I'm noticing right now, your defensive options getting blown up to sky high. Mm -hmm. not catalyzing on his edge guard, on his edge situation at all, man. And RTS is still just piling. Amazing he didn't try to turn around grab. Yeah, RTS is trying to keep up that pressure because he knows that Infernape just wants to slide in there, get the down tilt. And up smash and just up, abuse that up smash, much like yeah. you said, pretty much. And not to mention, like, in front of his, he's RTS is out of like any like tilt kill confirms. Oh, it's really just like any, so like uh -oh. down tilt conversion does not work anymore. That almost kills Mad Strong. In front of just needs to find this kill, man. Maybe like a throw or a up tilt or something. But it's choosing to get out of there, disengage. Man, this 190 cloud right now. In front of trying to just still hang around town. But it's only for a little while longer. Bro, you can you see that he's on the chase. Uh-uh. And Furnip's getting a little impatient. A little. A, a little. A little. Uh, a, a little impatient. A little. <laughs> like, Muna, you're my guy, bro. But please, grab him. Wrong grab. And our Arceus is running through this. And I know Infernip really wants to, like, pay this bro back for, like, the last week. Last week, our Arceus did beat him. Uh, yeah. Take him out. Knock him into, like, fifth place, I think. All I got to say is don't be a three-ring folder, bro. Those three stocks, you cannot let it be cemented. Oh, God. Look at these air dodges. Oh, these You're allowing RTS to completely trap you. Look at this Whoa, back air. These still frame covering traps it. are wild. Finally getting the stock. And uh, maybe this is a position where, like, you know, Diddy Kong has very impressive low percent strings. But, like, the way RTS has been playing, man, it's kind of been, like, his show. You know, I, I feel like in a situation like oh. this, Inferno probably can, can excel. You know, because, you know, like I said before, Diddy has really good low percent strings, and in front of him, really good at finding those low percent strings. But, um, he needs to find his way back to the ground first. Yeah, but Cloud hits so hard, does so much damage. What Infernape really needs is just to push RTS to the ledge and absolutely obliterate them. Absolutely. Leave no room for them to breathe. But right now, we got the limit rolling around, yeah, and that's, that's going to be GG's, game. baby. God damn. That's stuff. Another game three set. I, I was saying it was a small bracket tonight, but, like, the competition's still pretty damn good.